Dr. Tracy, what are you doing there? Ah, what I'm doing here is interesting. This is my old flight plan when I was the flying doctors in Broken Hill. And we used to go down to Real Canyon to the hospitals and to Meninda. You know, it was in Australia that I injected my first Botox patient back in 1997. And a friend of mine, Michael Cornfield, and we used to go traveling in his old red Cessna, 1947 Cessna out to Ayers Rock and up to Bundaberg. And it was also in 1977 that I treated my first hyperhidrosis patient, and that was in Australia. So Australia, I suppose, for me was the start of aesthetics. And then I went up to Toowoomba and um, ran, I suppose, or worked in a skin cancer center, treating melanomas that I was always interested in. And then I decided to go home and start a whole new direction, the world of aesthetics. I opened the first aesthetics clinic in Ireland in 1997. So at that stage, I was going to do dermatology. So I wanted to mesh the two, minor surgery, dermatology. And over the years, um, our aesthetic business has grown. We've heard transplant clinics throughout the world. And now I've been invited back to Australia, which is wonderful for me because I'm going to meet all my old friends, such as Stephen Liu, that I've sat on committees in MCAS and Paris with, but even more so, uh, Tatiana um, and Tipan Patel, and of course, Lee Walker, all experts in their own field. So I know we'll be at A22 talking to a lot of doctors who are starting off and wondering, will they go into the field of aesthetics? But that's where I was back in the last century, believe it or not. And now, as a consequence, I suppose I've reached a situation where we have multiple clinics and aesthetics, we have hair transplant clinics, or at least had throughout the world, and I recently was voted just before COVID, top aesthetic practitioner in the world. So I must have done something right <laughs> in all those years, and I'm so looking forward to come back to my second home back in Australia to um, teach or maybe inspire some of the other young doctors with some of my colleagues. So it's going to be a wonderful time, and I believe even after the Sydney conference, we may be going with um, our sponsors to Melbourne and up to the Gold Coast and back to Brizzy, where I spent a lot of my life. So hi to everybody in Australia. Looking forward to seeing you all in August for A22. And thanks to um, our sponsors um, for inviting me down there.